Oh my goodness, my fodder grew so quickly. Look at this, you guys. There's already little grass sprouts all over the place. That's so cute. Oh, that's gonna feed Minty so well. Oh my gosh. Oh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Story of Seasons, a trio of towns. And we are standing in our beautiful fields, which seem to be doing very, very well, especially now that we finally have enough food that I am able to take care of my fields twice a day, twice a day, these beautiful little seedlings get all of the water they could possibly want and I feel like they're actually growing a little bit faster and that makes me pretty happy especially because we have this special little patch right over here my sparkly potato patch this is the spot that we are putting down so much of the sparkly fertilizer in the hopes that we will have an award-winning potato when the time comes we are gonna have our first harvest festival on the 30th so I'm pretty excited about that let me go ahead all right come here sparkly fertilizer and down you go. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> Even spreading fertilizer, which as a, a former farmhand on an organic flower farmer or on an, or an organic flower farm, I can assure you smells awful. Even spreading the fertilizer is adorable in this game. I love it. And it looks like we have got enough room to put down three more radishes. <gasps> and what if we asked Ludius about today about actually, or Ludus, excuse me, about maybe adding in some more fields. Then we could expand how many crops we can have at a time. You guys, that'd be amazing. Oh, I'm so excited. But all right, guys. So we're going to really have a very busy day. We're going to be going and spending some time in Luluco today so that we can hopefully learn a lot from Ludus about what it is going to take to upgrade our tools, what it is going to take to get a pet house so we can have our very first pet. And I also learned that if you actually take the time to go and eat at some of the restaurants, which we can now do now that I have so much money, then you actually gain a lot for the town link rating to each town. So that made me pretty excited because we are just, look at that, just a tiny pinch closer and and we will be able to raise our town link rating with West Town. I have no idea what happens when you hit rank D, but I think you have access to all sorts of new items. You have access to all sorts of new pets and we don't even have our first pet yet. So I'm really, really excited, you guys. All right, so let's see, it's after eight o'clock. So our beautiful little animals should have eaten. Hi, Radish, thank you so much for the egg, my dear. I will try to go get Radish a, another animal treat later today too. I have not been giving her enough animal treats lately. And oh, hi Minty. Oh, it looks like Minty has recently had her food. All right, out you go. The front door, Minty. The front door. The front door is this way, Minty. That's right. Keep going, girl. Oh my gosh, we did it. I'm so relieved. And let me double check. Yep, and she has indeed eaten. And for those of you who have been asking, Siri, how can you tell if my cow has had its food? You can see the fodder item is under her. So you see the beautiful picture of our gorgeous bovine here. And if you look below that, you can actually see that little like patch of green scribbles that represents the fodder that she has eaten. And so she's already eaten it today because it's not grayed out. It's actually lit up. And so we've already had the fodder. We've already pet her. Now now we need to milk her, brush her, and get her a treat to be able to round off all of the things that she has. And I'm so glad that she's happy and her stress levels are low. I'm taking care of my cow, being a good cow mama. All right, let's go ahead and milk her. There we go. Hang in there, Minty. There we go. And then let me go ahead and grab the brush and we'll give her a good pet. Wonderful! So now she's pretty happy and I'm kind of tired because that was the first the first rush of our morning farm chores. I already watered- oh a butterfly! I already watered the flowers up here. I guess we have a lot of fields we're not really using. I keep waiting for more crops to become available because I'm pretty sure it's not just going to be potatoes and turnips, or excuse me, potatoes and radishes for as long as, as time is. Oh cool, longhorn beetle. But um, I think you have to raise your town link rating in order to actually develop more crops, in order to get your hands on more seeds. Oh, what's that? It's a cute little hoverfly. All right, so nothing wild on my farm today. Oh, 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 except these cuties. Hi, guys. Look at all of you. And is there anything hiding up here? Nope. All right, guys, so we're ready. Oh, oh look at that guy, another butterfly. We are ready to get running and to go and see what's going on in West Town. I still don't see any of those flowers that we saw a long time ago. So I wonder, I wonder if it was a very, very smart thing of me to keep that magic blue flower because I've not seen it since then. So I'm glad I didn't sell it or give it away. 
Oh, hi, little guys. Don't worry, one day I'll have a treat for you. Oh, and then the egg. So we were gonna see if the foxes will actually enjoy the egg. So let's go ahead and put it down. I'm going to sacrifice the day's egg. And, oh, 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 oh my goodness. You guys. Oh, that may, oh no, they don't like it. All right, I was so excited for a second because I thought the foxes were really going to enjoy the egg, but no. Oh, and it's raining in West Town. That's always so amazing to me when the weather is different and we can chase frogs, spring peepers. I actually have a really cute little specimen spotlight video of finding spring peepers last year and they were the smallest things ever. Hi, Noelle. Hi, Colin. I wish I had something to give you guys. All right, let me see. I just have aloe, weeds, a moondrop flower. Oh, I have calla lilies though. Huh, maybe that'll do. Here, I'll give the moondrop flower to uh, Colin because he really likes them. Oh, wow, Siri. I really like these. Thank you. There you go, Colin. I'm so glad. So hopefully, and meanwhile, the little girl's like, what about me? Um, Siri, is there a secret for being able to talk to... Uh, never mind. It's okay. Oh, Colin. All right, let's see if we have something. Oh, they're done playing. Noelle, hang on. I have something for you. Let's give her... Let's try giving her this cool seashell, because I think if I was a kid, I would want a cool seashell. Oh, you're giving this to me? I'm gonna go show it to Mama. Thanks, Siri. There you go, sweetie. It comes from a whole nother town, so maybe that'll make it really unique and make it something that she'll really like. Hey, Hector. Feeling good today. When me and my wife moved away, or er, I took up a desk job. Oh, I can't really see him sitting behind, like, the insurance agency job. Hmm. <laughs> Was sore for days and days after I came back and picked up farm work again. Oh, that's actually a really cool story, Hector. I wish I knew what to give him. Maybe some of my potato bread, but I really need it. Hey, Megan. Hector must have taken after his father, what with how close-mouthed he is. He has so few friends that sometimes I worry. It would be nice if he could learn how to be half as... No, even a third as personable and chatty as you are. Oh, Megan, thank you. And then meanwhile, she's talking about her vitamins that may have worked. That's so cool. Bye, Hector. All right, and we'll keep running. I need to visit my uncle and give my uncle something at some point. Oh, let's give Desi a flower. All right, Desi, you have little frogs everywhere and they're so cute. Excuse me, that was a toad. Hello, are you off somewhere today? Take care. All right, so let's go ahead and I want... No, when you want to make an offering, you can just toss it right into the spring. Whatever you want to give me, I'll be happy with it. Though, um, I'd be even happier if you don't give me things I don't like. Oh, don't worry, Desi. Here, let's give her a special little item. Because it's, it's, it's a beautiful day, and I want to be able to increase my friendship with everybody. Um, what to give Desi? Maybe, how about this beautiful calla lily? It looks a lot like the stuff that she actually has in her hair. So an offering for Desi the Harvest Goddess. Very elegant, beautiful, perfect, perfect chucking of items. Ah, it's so cute! pa 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 ka pa I love how she comes up with different things to say. There you go, Desi. I hope you enjoy it. Ah, more importantly, thank you for the offering. Let's see here. Oh, this is for me? Thank you. I love it. If only it was a strawberry, eh? Well, I'll be off then. Goodbye, Siri. Gosh, she's so cute. Hopefully she can use that call lily for whatever amazing flowery things that she does every day. I hope I didn't give her both of them. I kind of needed those as gifts for everybody. But that's okay, even if I did. She is a harvest goddess after all. All right, let's go talk. Oh, Uncle Frank, you've been hiding maple branches on me again. Really, Uncle Frank? I see how it is. All right, let's go ahead and talk to him. Hey, Uncle Frank. Do you go for walks, Siri? I'll take a stroll here and there myself when I find the time. Each town has its own unique look and feel. It can be fun just to walk through them. I hear you there, Uncle Frank. Uh, what to give you? Let's see, maybe one of my eggs? I Maybe one of my milks? Oh man, I'm getting really like high quality milk and eggs lately. Uh, let's try giving him one of my milks. It's very expensive, but I think that he'll really appreciate the gesture. Ho oh, ho, these are a favorite of mine. Thanks for the thoughtful gift. You know, I'm starting to feel better now. Maybe it's because of that bright old smile of yours. Yay! All right, so Uncle Frank is happy. I wonder if that's going to get us closer. So close. So close to a town link grading. 
We just need to do some more jobs for the, the villagers, but apparently eating at the restaurants and helping out by buying at the shops, I think the restaurants more so, will actually improve your relationship with the town even faster than doing the part-time jobs. All right, but let's see what Horatio has for us today. Please deliver a bouquet to Miranda. I can totally handle that, Lizette. That's super easy. Because that's literally right next door. And Miranda wants to deliver something to Lizette. They're so cute that way. I can totally handle that. And then a package to carry. I can totally do that. Uh, ship four of any vegetable. I can totally do that. And then, let's see. Item to Ford. Item to Zahu. Item to Karelia. Uh, I can totally do the Karelia one. Or I guess I could do... I could do these two, but I don't know if I can get all the way back from... Yeah, I'll do this one. There we go. All right. But I don't know about being able to get all the way back over here from where Ford is. So we'll hold off on that. All right. Thank you, Horatio. I know I just took on a lot of obligations, but I'm pretty sure I can do it. All right, Allison. Hello, Allison. I actually want to buy some items. And I want to get some treats for Radish and Minty, my cow and my wonderful chicken. Uh, though radish is the chicken and minty is the cow. All right, and then there's the spicy feed. Improves the animal's coat, which is pretty cool. Uh, one piece is daily portion. The feed box can hold up to seven pieces. Uh, and then <gasps> pet food. Oh my gosh, there's new types of pet food. Feeding your pets every day can increase their affection and will make them happy. And guess what? It also is just the right thing to do. So I should probably look into that. A dog bone. Oh my goodness, and a cat ball. Those are things we can give our pets, and it, throwing the dog bone will make it fetch it for you. The more you play with your dog, the closer you two will become. And then there's the cat bell, and it does the same thing with the cat. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. Well, I'm just going to buy, um, let's see, like maybe, no, 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 come on, come on. There we go. Maybe four treats today. I need to be careful because I have, like, my money is, is dwindling a little bit. Um, and I don't think I'm fancy enough where I can afford to buy the super fancy feed. But I'm going to go ahead and get a week a week's worth of feed and a week's worth of fodder. Just to make sure I'm taking good care of my animals first and foremost. All right. Thank you kindly. Oh my gosh, we did it. We did it. We just increased the town link rate by buying things to take care of my animals. And now it has chains across it. What have I done? <laughs> I think I'm going to have to wait until my uncle comes and tells me what the heck I just did um, before we can really increase our town rank anymore. I guess I could give Ford an aloe vera at least. All right, Ford, how do you do? Ah, oh, Siri, busy as a bee today, hmm? Keep up the good work. All right, thank you, Ford. All right, let me see if I can dig around in here. I swear I've got something for you. All right, there we go. Nice little piece of aloe vera. What do you think? Hmm, this is for me, is it? An excellent choice. Wonderful. So he's very happy. My energy is infectious as usual. That makes me happy. I wish I could give Wayne a coffee, but I don't have the recipe for coffee yet. All right, and I am ignoring the mining spots to let them rust until tomorrow because I want to see whether or not that let them rust for three days thing really, really works. All right, thank you, Miranda. I promise I'll give this to Lizette. I promise I'll give this to whoever it's supposed to go to. I don't remember, but I'll figure it out. And then we did just harvest um, some radishes. So do I have enough time to grow those potato seeds? I think so. I think we're getting a little bit close on potato seed planting time. But guess what, Miranda? I actually have. Give me just a second. This is going to be awesome. A pocket calendar. The pocket calendar from yesterday. And this is going to help me out because, let's see. Yep, I have enough time to be able to grow potatoes. Because we have over a week left before it is going to be time. Oh, that's such a relief. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and buy three packets of potato seeds. And I'm going to do that because I need those potatoes more for being able to make it lots and lots of potato bread. Speaking of which, I should probably go get more flour while I'm in town. All right. Thank you, Miranda. I wish I had a gift to give you. How about a flower? I have a whole bunch of flowers from the other, the other city. So let me give you some of these beach vitex. What do you think? Good gift? Hmm. Well, you were trying to be thoughtful, I guess. So I'll take it. Oh, fooey. Okay, so she doesn't really like wildflowers. Noted. But I know who does like wildflowers. A certain young lady right next door. So let's go ahead and pop on in. Hello. Hello, Lizette. There we go. We'll give her her package. I'm very busy helping everybody out today. 
And then there we go. We'll give Miranda these flowers. I love that I get to deliver flowers. It's just the best. All right, Lizette. Don't all the flowers make it smell so nice in here? When you feel like you need to pick me up, please come on by. Oh, Lizette, that's so sweet. And she works on making all that nice potpourri. I bet she is going to enjoy a good beach vitex. Oh, beach vitex. Getting something like this as a, pres as a present really brightens up your day, doesn't it? Thank you. Oh, she really likes it. So that's a good contrast, huh? I spend almost all my time right here in town. So please come on over and say howdy when you see me. Oh, thank you, Lizette. You know what? I should probably try to grow a couple more flowers. Um, I'm not sure, like, if I really have the energy to do so. But you know what? I'm going to give it a good little go. Because it's good to have some flowers on you to, like, give people gifts. So maybe I'll get a couple of these and one of these. And then I need to start being a lot more cautious with my money. Because <laughs> that also implies that I'm going to start eating more. Because I need the energy to be able to take care of the farm. And, oh gosh, I'm really getting myself on the deep end. Carrie? Hmm? A package for me? Oh, that's right. I did order something, didn't I? There you go, Carrie. Wonderful, wonderful. And then, uh, collecting lamps is a hobby of mine. When you light the wick in an antique lamp, they look almost magical. Oh, that's so cute! So she must have gotten a whole bunch of, uh, lamps, and that's what she got from Miranda. That's really adorable. All right, now, what would she like? Let's see. Call Lily? Ocean Primrose, maybe? I don't know if I have anything that Miran or that Carrie would really like, so I'll hold off on that. Brad? Uh, and I don't need anything from you today, I think, Brad. So I'm just going to say hello. And then, let's see. They had that old-timey taste to them. He's talking about his grandfather's recipes. I'm honored I get to make them now. And let's see. I need to grab a radish. I have so many radishes. <laughs> All right, Brad. Here's a radish because he really seems to love these. So I want to make sure I give them to him. So now that our town link rating has actually hit uh, a lock, what we usually have to do from the brief reading that I did just to snoop around, but not to spoil things for myself. Uh, what we usually have to do is actually go all the way through with there you go, Miranda. Yay! Yay! We got something. I don't even know. I don't even know what I did. But we got something. That's pretty cool. Whoops, wrong button. But in order to unlock this little bar that we have, apparently what you need to do is like special chores for the town. So I wonder if I just did that by, by giving Miranda uh, the item and completing some part-time jobs. I'll have to see. So let me double check my part-time job notes really quickly just to make sure I'm not forgetting anybody in this town. I need to go ship some vegetables. And then I need to go visit Ludus. So yeah, we're doing good. I just need to ship some of these things. Oh, and I need to come over here and get some flour too. Hello, Natasha. How are you doing today? Just picking up some flour. Uh, oh, she's got the breadcrumbs too. Yeah. Oh, and the coffee pack. Oh, hey. So both she and Miranda sell the coffee pack for the same price. Noted. All right. So we're going to grab... I don't want to get the cornmeal. Man. So I can make cornbread on my own, but look at how expensive the cornmeal is. With that price, I can get like four of the normal flour and make normal crops. So, or like make like just vegetable bread. So I'm going to grab 12 of the flour. No, Natasha, I'm all right. I'm all right. And I'm going to run home and I'm going to ship a good chunk of my radishes, you guys. And it's going to be really surreal to leave the village, leave West Town, and it's actually going to be sunny. It's going to be sunny in our, our farm and I'm going to have to water things and take care of them. Oh gosh, I'm so excited. There's so much to do. They're keeping me so busy and I love it. Why am I somebody who adores keeping so busy? I just am. It suits my personality so well. All right, so we're back here. We're gonna go ahead and ship this really quickly. There's so many radishes. All right, so we'll go ahead and ship, I think, 20 radishes. I think I'll go ahead and ship. Oh, um, what I want to do actually is because we have now leveled up our town link rate and rank and I don't know when we'll be able to make it go up anymore because it won't, I don't think it'll budge until you do those chores. I'm going to change the shipping destination to Luluco. There we go. And you know what? I think I'm going to sit on top of the vegetables that we have in our pockets. And the reason I'm going to do that is that then when we ship the vegetables that I got from, uh, let's see. Do I want to plant these potato seeds? Yeah, I do. 
But when we ship the vegetables now, then they will go to Luluco tomorrow, and that will actually give us more town link rating with Luluco instead of with West Town, because we can't we can't level up with West Town just yet. All right, I'm gonna water this really quickly. Thankfully, Luluco tends to go on different hours, so I should be able to get over there in time. I gotta be really careful though. Oh no, the watering can is empty. I've got to go really quick because I need to get over to Ludus. I still have a couple jobs I need to do for him and then I need to do jobs with him so he can level up some of my gear. All right, there we go. And all done! And now I can go eat at one of their restaurants in Luluco and that should improve my relationship with them. Yay! All right, keep him busy. Let's see if it's raining in Luluco. All right, South Luluco and... Sunny and beautiful! Oh, and the priestesses are out. I like cooking, but I usually can't be bothered to make very complicated dishes. At the shop, at least. <laughs> I'll remember that. I'll remember that. Oh, there's a pretty butterfly. I want to see the pretty butterfly. Oh, they're so lovely. They're so lovely. All right, and we're going to run past these guys. Oh, hello, random person. You look pretty cool. If you run out of stamina, you'll collapse and wind up in the hospital. Don't push yourself too hard, you know? I hear you there. Oh, it's so fun just to talk to everybody and see how they're talking and the way that each town tends to focus on like different trades. It's just amazing. All right, let's come over. Ludus, yes, all right. Hey, Ludus. Oops, sorry, I'm right up in your face again. Siri, you're helping here with my deliveries, right? I've got lots to send, so I really appreciate the help. Oh, and look at all the feathers on top of his shop. No wonder. All right, there we go. Check the memo to see where the deliveries need to go. It's easy. I'm sure you'll figure it out fast. Thank you, Ludus. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, can we just chat for a second? You know the bonfire right in the middle of town? We keep it burning at all times. We're kind of remote out here, so we don't keep some. So if we don't keep something burning, who knows what kind of animals might walk through town at night? Oh, that's a good question, actually. As long as you bring me the materials, I can make just about anything you need. He's really determined. Like, he's not jack of all trades because he wants the money. It's because he wants to help people. Isn't that so cool? All right. I have a little blue quill, a little flower that he enjoys very, very much. Oh, nice blue quill, yeah? Is this really for me? Mahalo. I've always loved these. Yes! I'm so happy to find something that he really enjoys. All right. Let's come over here. Como mai? That means welcome. Welcome to the jack of all trades shop. Relaxion. All right, so he also is doing a clothes tailoring service now too, which means that we can actually come over here to get work clothes, two different styles of work clothes if we had five white cloths now. So again, we're expanding and expanding and expanding what's available for shopping in all of the towns. Uh, as time goes on, as we unlock different things, it's really fun because it gives it a very organic feeling of as your farm grows and as your relationship with the town grows, so too does the, the town itself. And it's just really fun. All right, let's see what it would take to do the farm circle service for being able to get a pet house. Let's see. What if I wanted to make a farm circle? Let's see. And he's got new goods in, he says. So there's water source. There's the big barn. A pet house right there. So I would need 10 pieces of lumber. I would need 1,200 gold. And I would need three pieces of small lumber in order to make a pet house and get my pet, which would be so fun. And then, oh, he has a brick pile now. Interesting. I wonder what on earth uh, the brick pile does because all of these decorative pieces actually have different traits, different things that they may affect your farm with. And you can tell we've got mostly West Town centered things and whatever, whatever farm circle theme is, it will go along with a different town. So West Town centered things, if you put on your farm, will increase your relationship with West Town, which I think is pretty cool. So if we put down like this milk cans and boxes pile, then it would increase our relationship with West Town most likely. And same with the hay bales probably. That's interesting. If you bring him 30 fodder, he can make you the hay bales. I love how they use such a wide variety of different items. That's so cool. All right, well, what I really want is a large coop as well. And that is going to be uh, 40 lumber and 20 small lumber. So that's gonna that's gonna be kind of hard for me to get my hands on. I'll have to do a lot of chopping. Uh, so if I have to do a whole bunch of cutting of things and for the pet house, 10 lumber, three, okay. So I just need to buy a ton of lumber. Now for the farmhouse, I need a lot of lumber and to get the lumber, I'm probably gonna need, let's see, 
better tools, like a better axe. So what would it take to get our tools upgraded? Let's see. Um, I would want to upgrade my tool. Can we talk about what it would what it would take to upgrade it? Like, there we go. Oh wow, look at all of this. You can change the color of your tools. <laughs> with mint and blue flowers and and moon drops and blueberries what on earth oh my gosh to make the tool lighter we would need five black rocks and two pieces of iron to improve the effectiveness we would need five pieces of iron and five copper to set the area of effect to one by two. Oh my gosh so i think we would want to make it lighter so we could swing it more maybe so we're going to want to get our hands on five black rocks and two iron and we want to gather up as much iron and copper as possible as well. You can also buy those things from him. So that's very interesting to see. Huh. That's a lot to think about all at once. Just with one tool. What on earth can you do to make a milker? You can, you can improve the milker too. This is amazing. Um, you can also improve the fishing rod. And the watering can to improve effectiveness to set area of effect to change the colors of my watering can. I want a little green watering can. You guys, we need to save up three mints and we need to get a little green watering can. This is amazing. There's just so much you can do. Wow. Okay. Well, I think we need to save up a whole bunch of our ores. Um, I think for now, because I don't think I can upgrade that axe, can I? Like to make it lighter. I am missing black rocks to improve its effectiveness. I am missing iron and copper. So maybe tomorrow what we'll do is we will go over with our hammer, uh, what we need to make the hammer lighter, more black rock, and to improve its effectiveness, iron and copper, same thing. But maybe what we'll do is tomorrow we will actually go and we will spend some time uh, gathering up more more of the um like ores more of the different variety of ores that we can have at the mines and then we should be able to use those to go ahead and upgrade some of our tools and i can also try to buy some of the lumber we need to get a pet so all right ah, this has actually been a really long day even though the actual day isn't over just yet so i am going to leave you guys here but tomorrow look at this that's so cute the little cuckoo is following her around but tomorrow we will spend some time or I should say next time we will spend some time adventuring around Luluco, seeing what is for sale and preparing to go and bash some rocks at the mines. So hopefully we can get the ores we need to be able to take care of everything. Oh, so we are so busy. We are so busy. We can't even do everything in a single episode. That's amazing. I love this game so much, but not the monkeys. <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.